The residents of Abuja, the nation's capital, have called on the federal government to ensure that effective steps are taken to avert the frequent collapse of the national grid. They made the call while speaking to Trustee B on the negative impact on small businesses. Our reporter, Amina Ibrahim, has more. In the early hours of Thursday, residents of Abuja experienced total blackouts, with business owners left in the dark. For many, running generator as alternative power source for their businesses is gradually becoming a luxury that only a few can afford due to the forced subsidy removal. Actually, I just woke up in the morning, um, during the night and I noticed the light just get low and that's all. When I came to work, I noticed no light and nobody tell us what happened everywhere. The country was just shut down everywhere no light nobody explain nobody tell us and we don't even know what happened to the light we just meet ourselves in this uh position that no light and everywhere and you imagine we using generator on a 800 naira per liter this i pass my neighbor that's what you can use 800 naira per liter how many liter will i buy a day and i'm using meter i uh, subscribe my meter i have card inside my meter but i can't i i don't have access to the light this is just we don't even know who we will ask now nobody is out there to explain to us that's just how we find ourselves Aubakar Deyebu, a small business owner said electricity is very important to the life of an individual especially businesses because of its vital role across all sectors of human life they lamented how customers are disappointed when they come pick up their appliances when not fully charged due to the lack of electricity, which they added slows their operations. Like today, I couldn't finish my customers' hair. I was supposed to use lights, and the gen we have was giving us some challenges because of the fail issue. So we were unable to finish the hair, and the customer wasn't happy. She was so angry about it. So the light issue has been a big problem to us here in this area. Since where our generator gets spoiled, we could not be able to repair it. And uh, even the oil is cost. We have uh, oil is very cost. So we could not be able to use generator to do work. Because if you charge customer for the, for the money of uh, oil, it will, it, they, will, they will say they could not be able to pay it. And uh, the amount you use to buy oil, is becoming too much for us. They called on the government to do more to avoid future occurrence of the national grid collapse to enable Nigerians, especially business operators, to function effectively. In Abuja, Amina Ibrahim reporting for Trust TV News.